commissioner of the GLVC, Jim Numvavich. And Jim, it's, it's great to be here in St. Charles, Missouri, and what a day so far in the GLVC. Yeah, we, uh, we're very pleased to, to be sponsoring or to be hosting this year's tournament at, at Family Arena, kind of more of a, a geographic midpoint for the uh, schools in the league, and hopefully the, uh, the men's quarterfinal teams have enjoyed their experience at this venue, and hopefully the same tomorrow when the women's quarterfinal games take place. Now, the conference tournament being played this year in St. Charles, Missouri, last year is in Evansville, Indiana at the Ford Center. Uh, why the change to St. Charles, Missouri this year? We uh, we had intended uh, to stay in Evansville, but there was a scheduling conflict with the facility uh, with the University of Evansville. So uh, at that point, we had to start looking for another venue, and uh, we had I had looked into the Family Arena several years ago, and uh, the Missouri Valley Conference has hosted their women's tournament here for about six years, and we. We talked to our friends at the Valley Conference or the Valley Office, and they gave a very high recommendation and endorsement about the building and the staff and, and everything. And uh, that, that they were correct. I mean, that's been our experience here. We've been here for a couple of days setting up, and this is the first day of action. But uh, it's so far, so good. And what's your overall impression of the first day of action here in the GLVC quarterfinals? A lot of tough competition being played today. Some great games so far. Well, that's what quarterfinal rounds are, are all about. I mean, uh, the, the eight best teams in the conference have advanced to family arenas, so you would expect that the games would be competitive and hard fought, and, and they are. It's uh, it's a it's a grind in this league with the level of competition. But, uh, yeah, it's been uh, very, very good basketball, very entertaining, uh, Division II basketball, and, and we are very pleased to be showcasing it here in the Show Me State. And it's a great showcase. The GLVC, one of the premier Division II conferences in for basketball in all of the nation. You have three highly ranked teams and a lot of other very competitive teams here. What does this speak about the GLVC with the such competitive basketball nature? Well, I think it's obviously a credit to our coaches. We've had a, quite a bit of stability uh, on the men's coaches' side and the women's coaches' side. And so they know the other programs. Uh, they're very well scouted. They know the type of student-athlete that they need to recruit at their particular institution, not just to play basketball, but academically to uh, to be able to handle the rigors of, of the curriculum that each of our schools offer. So, you know, they get strong support from the athletic directors and the presidents and, and chancellors in the league, and, and it's been uh, very gratifying to, to see the level of competition maintain such a high level from year to year. And now, Coach, focusing in on the GLVC Sports Network, the first of its kind for Division II launching this year. This is the first year. Uh, talk a little bit about what the GLVC Sports Network really brings to the conference. Well, I think it brings expanded visibility and exposure for our, our student-athletes, and that was really goal number one, is to be able to, to provide a, um, a medium for folks who can't get to this year our championship contest to be able to watch family or relatives or friends or neighbors or alumni to be able to, to dial up uh, the, the GLBC Sports Network on the conference website and, and be able to take in all this conference action. So let me ask you, because today you know we are unveiling our GLBC SN extra credit, what's, what's the experience been like for you? Uh, the experience has been absolutely incredible uh, to be able to broadcast games for the GLBC Sports Network on a nationally streamed uh, broadcast. It's, it's just an incredible experience. And we can't say thank you enough to the GLBC to provide us this opportunity, not only for me, but for everyone running the show behind the scenes. We have six students from five different schools in the GLBC here today, representing eight overall if you count tomorrow's broadcast. So it's just a wonderful experience, and I cannot say thank you for myself and everyone running the show behind the scenes for this opportunity. Well, no, it's, it's our pleasure. And uh, Tell me what the production meeting was like with Jeff Smith, our Assistant Commissioner for Communication. Did he put the fear of God in you? Jeff Smith's a great guy. He helped, helped hook us up with this opportunity. Uh, um, that gave us the instruction. This was really kind of a last-minute thing, so not much time to develop chemistry uh, throughout this process, but everything is going very smoothly so far, and it, it's been a great process, and I, again, we could not be more thankful for this opportunity. Well, you're welcome. I, you know, one of the challenges we had, obviously, is not knowing until last Sunday which eight teams would be here and then how the seeds would work and availability for students like yourself. So it's uh, we had told our league members that the, the GLBC Sports Network had implications beyond a game or beyond a championship. And so if we can provide these type of opportunities for students who want to pursue this as a career choice, uh, we're happy to do so. So, okay, you go back to interview or I'll go back to interview. <laughs> I kind of got out of my... And what, and what is your viewpoint on the future of the GLVC Sports Network? Are you looking to expand it? Are you looking to uh, add more to the GLVC Sports Network in the near future? Yeah, the, the, the plan is for 2015-16, we will 
mandate all 16 schools stream all of their men's and women's regular season basketball games on, on GLBCSN. And then as we get into 2016-17 academic year, that goes to volleyball and football. And then the goal is by fall of 2017, all of our core sports and football will be required to be on, on the GLBC Sports Network. Well, thank you for joining me, Commissioner. And, uh, hey, it's a great opportunity for the GLBC Sports Network. I'm, I'm really glad to have this opportunity. Thank you. And uh, looking forward to the second half of this upcoming game. All right. Well, thanks for having me on. Thank you. All right are watching a special production of the GLVC Sports Network. Uh, we will be back. The second half is coming up shortly. You're watching the GLVC Sports Championship Basketball Tournament on the GLVC Sports Network, where champions are crowned.